die every year before they reach the age of five. Any God who would allow children by the million to suffer and die in this way, and their parents to grieve in this way, either can do nothing to help them, or doesn't care to. He is therefore either impotent or evil. Think of the parents of the Think of the fact that, that most of these men and women believe in God and are praying at this moment for their children to be spared. And their prayers will not be answered. If something good happens to a Christian, some, he feels some bliss while praying, so, or he sees some positive change in his life, and we're told that God is good. Okay, but when children by the tens of thousands are torn from their parents' arms and drowned, we're told that God is mysterious. They call the human sacrifice. Given, given the, the misery that's being imposed on some helpless child at this instant, this kind of faith is obscene. Okay, this, to think in this way is to fail to reason honestly or to care sufficiently about the suffering of other human beings. God is good and loving and just and kind, and he wanted to guide us morally with a book. Why give us a book that supports slavery? Why give us a book that admonishes us to kill people for imaginary crimes like witchcraft? They cult of human sacrifice. offered a psychopathic and psychotic moral attitude. It's psychotic because this is completely delusional. There's no reason to believe that we live in a universe ruled by an invisible monster, Yahweh. This, to me, is, is the true horror of religion. It, it allows perfectly decent and sane people to believe by the billions what only lunatics could believe on their own. The true horror of religion. What are the chances that we're all going to go to hell for, for eternity because we haven't recognized the Quran to be the perfect word of the creator of the universe? Please know that this is exactly how Christianity appears to someone who's not been indoctrinated by it.